Hello everybody, welcome back to the Vagabond series in Liz World. We are on day 18. 7.9 billion people in the world. But the streets are empty of life. They are not gone. They've changed. Where do I go? Don't stop. Never stop. And today the goal is, is to try and do a couple more missions, get a couple more things taken care of, and then work on the Horde base. Because despite us wanting to get all of the loot and all of the stuff and things that are going to get us better vehicles, more money, that kind of thing, also the goal is to survive the Horde and to get to the next town. So that is something that we always need to be uh, working towards in any of these playthroughs. So... We have to go to a rally point today. I feel like I did go out and get the drop, right? I think I did. Yeah. And look at this. We've got two treasure maps over here we probably need to look at getting. Uh, the treasure maps have got to be really good if they put them so far away, right? You would think? Maybe? All right. Uh, we are at Carl's. We're gonna check all of the vehicles, but we're only gonna tear them down once. That chicken is really, really tempting me. I need to kill it. Uh, tier 6 shovel. Awesome. Uh, totally not the levels that I need. Or the items, even, that I need. But that's fine. Okay, check the vehicles. Okie dokie, I, I think we've gathered enough from before the reset. We're also going to break down all of these, but only after we've reset the POI. I'm not going to do it twice. There we go. Right, and this one was outside of it, so... Man, please do not hit on this car while I'm in it. A couple of branches. Come here. Bam. Nope. Completely an underling mess. My bad. Okay, that probably got us a lot of- okay, hi, yes. Okay, that got us a whole lot of stuff and things that we can sell. Let's drop it off and go get our loot. Yeah, no, no, don't- don't take my actual stuff, please. What was here? Or what should be here? I don't know. Is that there? See if I can't wake up a few people. Knock knock! Oh yeah, definitely waking some folks up. Could y'all come to the front door, please? Front door. Garage area. Go. Ma'am, um, you're just gonna sit here and beat through the wall. Ma'am, stop that. Don't do the thing that you are trying to do. Okay. Did I not actually kill you? I could have swore I actually killed you. Ooh. Hi, Ed. Okay, some lockpicks. I probably need to take those lockpicks to the treasures. And maybe even go to the trader and see if I can find some lock picking candy. Probably be a, the best use of the lock picking candy. Knock knock. He's actually going to. Okay. He's gonna drunk zombie. Okay. Okay. And move your head out of the way, dude. I'm trying to help you. There you go. That's being weird. Stop it. There we go. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Up. Okay. Well, we're gonna continue working the POI the way we were meant to work the POI, despite them having broken through. Not not.
that AK. That the AK schematic. Useful in case I find the parts. Knock knock. Oh, you're in here. Okay, well, you continue to fight to get out of there. Hi, Frank. How's stuff? How's things? How's the shop doing? Okay, that's all of that. We're definitely going to get these things. At some point, we're going to have to make a trip back over there to our horde base and start assembling our horde base. Uh, but we can spend a little bit of time gathering the resources first. Is it iron or steel? Iron. Okay. Nice. There's the package. Let's get our loot. Oh, I did not mean to wake you up, sir. My bad. Can there be somebody over here? Or not. Alright. Ah! I knew it. I knew it. Okie dokie. Waste all of the arrows shooting right past her head. That's fine. Nine mil. Okay. I am actually getting encumbered, so I don't need the shirt at all. That's fine. Uh, avalanche. Take 50% less damage from collapsing mines and the electric timer relay. Okay, so that's this mission done. Yes. Is the trader open? Yes. That means we can go check to see whether or not there's any eye candy, and then we can go out to the treasure maps that are not too far away from this town. I don't know if we'll be the next town will be any close to this town, so probably be a good idea to go ahead and get it while we're close to it. The next town could be like miles and miles away. In which case, it'd be absolutely senseless for us to turn around and go back, you know? Mm. Uh -uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh jeez. I'm about to do that. That's a whole lot of clay. I mean, not clay, but uh, cement stuff that we can use. Drop that, drop that. We're going to hold on to these until it gets later on. Hopefully during the time that we start working on this town, since we're still in this town, um, we'll slowly find mods that we can stick into these tier 6s and then sell them. If we start arriving towards the time where we need to leave, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna sell them as is. Well, we'll fix them. And then we'll sell them as is. Yeah. Three treasures. If I can get all three of those and one lockpicking candy, that would be freaking amazing. Likely? No clue. No luck picking candy. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. So, we've got several days here. What we could probably do is just stash the luck picks until we get the luck picking candy, and then we'll go get the treasures. Be sped. In which case, uh, let's put the money away. I would like to pick. Oh, 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 oh I forgot. We gotta turn the thing in. Let's turn it in and. We'll pick up a mission for tomorrow, and we'll go pick on one of the POIs that we want to take apart before we leave this town. Hello, traveler. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, insulated liner would give me another mod to go in one of those things, but I'm definitely going to have to go for the 762 ammo. Why am I... Hang on. That was not supposed to be on, guys. I do apologize. Okay, uh, one of the things. We obviously took care of this one. How's about we go to the book house? Let's do the book house next. Um, 
There's still a lot of books this character needs, so that might be a good one to go ahead and get. Maybe we can put together some stuff for mods. I do have... I don't know if I actually showed it at the end of the last episode, but I had all of the stuff to get the... Stun Repulsor mod, and it's made. It's just sitting in there waiting for me to either find a stun baton or make a stun baton. So, we've got that one thing. If I can just find what I need. I need more parts. Can I cut across here? Yeah. I love these town makeups. Those, these things are awesome. Um, I'm not sure. But it looks like they've redone this one a little bit. Let me see. Because who knows, it might not have even be a book house anymore. We might get up there and find out they took half the bookcases out. I hope they didn't. Knock. Oh, you were in there. I knew somebody was going to be in here. Just in case, you know. You have to be very thorough. Just in case. Someone tells me we're pissing around in some bad guys. Yep. Okay, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not seeing all the bad guys, so instead of trying to sneak, I'm going to wake them up and bring them to me. Wake up! I know, I know there's more than just you. And if I make sure I'm in the room... Seriously? You cannot be the only guy in here. Is there somebody back here? Ah. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, there's Ed. I got you. Anybody else? Are we good? All right. Nice. Take these things apart. We're going to try and get some money off of these. The biggest thing is going to be trying really hard not to pick up extra things and selling off extra things that we normally would keep in any other playthrough. Uh, in this case, taking apart cars so that we can make other things. Well, in this case, we're taking apart cars so we can sell as much as possible. I'm kind of at the point where I feel like we've already got enough uh, cobblestone and stuff, but we're going to continue getting it just in case. Mighty lady, you just scared the hell out of me. Don't do it. Oh my god, you're gonna make me pull out the gun. <gasps> just kick the wall, too. Damn it. Ah! Okie dokie. You know, I really think they lowered the bar on how early you ferals can spawn in. I really, really do. Books, please? Uh, that's a book I've already got, though. Okay, from here on out, we hold on to books. Hopefully we can sell them. Let's try and make sure I'm not holding on to everything, just in case. I do need to run, just like earlier. Oh, I guess I was supposed to come in through there. Alright. I do apologize if you guys are here in the storm in the background. It is kind of raging outside right now. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll scrap that and scrap that. Drop those. And I'll drop the paper. Uh oh, uh oh, I hear a dog. Where did you even come from? Over there? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to waste the ammo if I don't need to. Okay. Nice. Yes. I heard somebody. Oh. 
What are they all doing inside the pool? Yeah, you just keep walking this way. There we go. Bookcases. I have already got that one. Nope. 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 They've played with the bookcases. The bookhouse is no longer the bookhouse. Dang it. Not really. They took out the other bookcases and put the suck your bookcases in. Great. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, inside the POI builder, there's two types of bookcases. There's one with better loot and there's one with less loot. The less loot is always going to show a paper or something thereabout, some considered low-level schematic or something like that. And the other one is actually going to give you a book or even two books, possibly, depending on your loot stage. And obviously most of these things are the lower stage of a bookcase, which sucks. Yes, I did. Bubby! How good to see you. You know, I've never actually looked at the back part of you, but it kind of looks like you had an incident while you were standing inside that closet. You were in the bathroom. Dude, you could have gone. Knuckles, that would help my other character. Not actually helping this character at all. At all. You were, no, you were in the closet with the toilet. How did that happen? Doing exactly 100 damage each time. That's pretty cool. Here's six is baton. It's a syllable. It's a syllable. Some clay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, why am I walking around with half blocks anyway? Oh, this is definitely different. Perhaps I should be all sneaky and stuff, but I just don't see me doing sneaky very well and I'm gonna get trapped in a corner and panic hard, so you know, I think I'm just gonna not sneak. Yes. There's somebody stuck in there. Maybe not. Maybe over here? Is that a- oh, don't- don't hit that dude! That, that's fine. Don't, uh... Hold that. No matter what anybody tells you, it is perfectly okay to hit the zombie with whatever you currently have in your hand so you can so you have a chance to swap your weapon. It is perfectly okay. That sounded like something was supposed to break. What is going on in this attic though? Oh. oh, I am so sorry, Marilyn. I was not even in looking in your direction. That's rude. Come on over here, dude. Go back over here where I've actually cleared some bad guys instead of me allowing myself to get beat up. I'm actually trying to look at this POI without you beating on the wall and making new paths. Could you, could you just guys stop? He just pushed him through the hole. Pretty sure that's illegal. Hey. Okay. Come on. Oh, hi, Frank. I was wondering who else I was hearing. Are these are these plastic right here? No, these are pipes. This is a bundle of pipes. Cool. Am I supposed to be wrenching this? No, I don't think I am. All right. All right. I saw that loot. Let me just make sure I'm not neglecting anything else around here. I kind of like the changes that they made to this attic. It looks a lot more interesting. 
it, it's a little convoluted, but it's interesting regardless. Let's take a look at what we got. The vitamins, not very, no. I don't know what I just crafted, but it needs to stop doing that. And I do need that. Now this is worth 184, it's worth 115, 184. I am going to have to choose something to drop. How's about those jars? I hate to get rid of the jars because I kind of actually need the jars. Okay, plain light. Uh, Alright, uh, that is a tier 3 stun baton. That is not bad. Um, I've got plenty of cloth. I'll take that. I have got... Um, I can make a duct tape with that cloth, but I don't have more duct tape on me, do I? That's hard choices here. Hard choices. I, I want both of those. Uh, bats, and I'm not even going to pick those up. Uh, tier 6 that I already have. And those. Okay. Okay, so the book house was not lucrative like it used to be, but it still had an adequate amount of loot to it. So worth a look either way. Okie dokie, uh, let's run back home. We need some antibiotic or some honey or something like that. Go and a tier 3. You're doing 11 points of damage. You're doing 22. If I take this mod out of here and this mod... Uh, you're doing 13 points of damage. It's not quite replacing the baton. It really, really is not. Uh, what I really, really need is the book that allows me to shock more often. If I've read that one, it's a good time to swap over. Uh, stun victims 60% longer. Stun victims 40% longer. And then if we go through the tech junkie... What we really need is a stun baton charging. Yep, 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 yep. We need the sixth one on the tech jockey, but we are actually doing this playthrough, so sadly, we are going to have to go with these. I will probably go ahead and hold on to one of those batons, because if I start getting my face hit in too often, I will probably swap. Is there a horde coming up? Or is it just you? Uh, let's go try it out. Blah. I wasn't actually talking to you, sir, but we can test it on you. Where are you? I didn't get quite get a charge. Um, dude. Nice. There we go, and we've got another charge. I'm not sure if we put it up and we get it back out. The charge is still on it. Good. Okie dokie. So we have our baton. Let us... Let's see. Let us... We've got a couple of things to sell before we close out the day. Uh, not the armor bits, though. All right, let's go see if he's got anything that we need, and I'm, I'm hoping that when I start recording again, I'll be like, okay, I need to look out for eye candy and stuff like that. I probably won't remember. Not the eye candy, the lockpicking candy so we can go get those treasures, but I need to be on the lookout for them. Hi, dude. Friend? Uh, you don't want to buy those. Okay, that's probably the reason why I didn't sell them to you last time. Okay, so I've got one skill point. Is there anything we actually need to buy off of you? Just in case we hit a desert and I actually do need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a very fussy lady outside your base. Uh, dog food, coffee, stock, pasta. Uh. Okay. Drop those. Okay, now then, we have got that ammo, which I need to store. We've got all of this stuff. We've got that waiting to make a horde base, and we've got those and that I need to drop. 
I have got a tier two. Get rid of both of those. Um, what else do we need to do before the end of the day? Because we actually got done really, really quick today. That's fine. Okay, what else do we need? We need more stone. Uh, let's go grab some stone. Let's do that. Alright, so we got like a thousand stone. That should work for a little while. Hi Ed, how you doing? Would you like would you like a lift? <laughs> Dude, I am so sorry. I was actually not expecting you to interact with my bike like that. Okay, that works. Alright, let's get some more stone going. Not stone, but concrete going. Ooh, key jerky. Um, Nightfall is coming, so let's see, we did, uh, we did the book house, we can take that off, we did, no, uh, we're gonna keep that one because that's where our horde base is going to be, so next thing we're going to do is go after either the zombie hotel or the shotgun messiah, I kind of want to get a couple of levels underneath me and hit the shotgun messiah before we leave, so we'll do that probably after the first horde night we have here. Uh, we have got one skill point. Where do we want to put that? We're doing strength and intelligence, and we just made this, so... Um... Butter barter would be good. Physician would be good. Advanced engineering would be good. The next one would give us... Electric fences, which might actually be important in the next couple of... Horde bases. I don't know, guys. What have we got in strength? I did minor 69 around one of them, mother load. You know, a point into each one of them is probably, you know, you get 40% more, and that's that's 20%. Uh, 40% more if you get two levels in each of them. So, like, a couple inside minor 69 er probably wouldn't be a bad idea just so we could harvest more at one time. Okay, we've got these. 182 blocks towards uh, the horde base. How many do I think it's going to need? We just need to figure, uh, well, actually, and actually, it depends on whether or not we're going to use any of the side pathings, because the side paths, I might want to fill those up too. The center one's definitely going to have to be full. I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's enough or not. I know I need to start working towards the uh, move stuff as well, so... Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it here. I know it's just a little bit early in the day. Nighttime's going to come in about an hour, but... We've actually got a mega storm going on outside, so I wanted to make sure I got the recording done, and then I was going to cut recording. So uh, next episode, yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye out for and let me write the stuff down, actually. So we've actually got time to go around and see if we want to find any other POIs, which would not be a bad idea. So yeah, next episode, we're going to try looking again for the luck picking candy so we can go after the, the treasure maps. We're going to go... Work on the Horde base. That probably should be something we mainly focus on so I can see if we need any other supplies. So that is it, guys. I will see you in the next episode. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night. My name is Jay Shiny. Bye!